Hi everyone, this is Tarun from Deep Thought and the purpose of this video is to explain you what this role is about, what the selection process is going to be like and how do you know if this is role is meant for you, how do you get selected and so on. So if you have all these questions in your mind, by the end of this video, you'll get some clarity uh, about them. So firstly, what is Deep Thought? Deep Thought is a company which is solving a very fundamental problem and that is most employees around the world are not connected with their work. Most employees around the world don't have that deep connection with their work. Now, what does that mean? If you go to an SBI and they tell you lunch ke baad aana, that's probably an employee who doesn't have a connection with the work, right? An employee who's working only for the salary at the end of the month. Or if you look at a journalist who is giving live coverage of a terrorist attack, uh, 2611 terrorist attack, you know that a lot of journalists were giving live coverage without even knowing that uh, the army and the NSG were getting compromised if there's live coverage given. That's again an employee who doesn't have a connection with the work that as a journalist, you're like the fourth pillar of a democracy, right? So across the world, if you see the kind of inconvenience that people face, you have that inconvenience because employees do not have a connection with their work. Now, according to Gallup's uh, research study, 11% of global GDP, which is around $7.8 trillion are lost every year due to lack of employee engagement. When people do jobs that they do not have a connection with, they don't do well. And when people don't do their jobs well, a lot of people suffer due to that. The bank and the journalism were just two different examples. Or let's say you have a problem with your SIM card and you call up a call center and you don't get a proper resolution to your problem. That is because there is an employee who is not connected with his or her job. Now, in reality, everyone feels motivation only comes with salary. Well, that's not true. I mean, if you go to some of these um, really, really good South Indian restaurants, the waiters are very good at, you know, managing the tables, making sure the tables are properly cleared, making sure the food is properly served and so on. And if you ask them what their salary is, their salary is not great. Or if you were to go into a college where the culture is very great, the, uh, you know, maid or someone who's coming to serve you is very happy after serving you, asks you how the coffee is and uh, does her best to make sure you're very comfortable at the stay. Now, if you ask her what her salary is, it's not going to be more than 10,000 a month. Now, why is it that in some places people have a deep connection with their work and in some places people do not have a deep connection with their work? Now, Deep Thought is a culture tech company. We work towards solving this problem of getting employees highly engaged with their work. And the promise we make to our clients is you focus on your business, we'll focus on the people management. We are here to bring the right people into your company. After bringing the right people, we run employee wellness drills. We run weekly performance reviews. We take care of the continuous improvement program so that people get to learn something or the other every day. And we also help them with their project management. So we do multiple things to make sure the employee is super comfortable in the organization. I wouldn't say comfortable, but the employee is A, enabled, B, empowered, and C, deeply connected with the organization, right? So, I mean, the employee is taking responsibility. So, we want enabled, empowered, responsible value contributors for every organization. What do you mean by enabled? The employee is taught a lot of concepts. Now, today, if you uh, hire a content writing intern, and the content writing in turn is not aware of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Then the content writing in turn might write some content which may not connect with the end user because the intern does not know Maslow's hierarchy of needs to understand what need each person has and how my value proposition can be aligned with those needs. But what if they taught these concepts? So we do this continuous improvement program so that people are enabled to be able to do that job. Now, what if I'm enabled, but not empowered as in I'm not, I don't feel confident enough or I don't feel that my management will allow me to make those mistakes. So 
the psychological strength and the authority, all of these come in in the empowerment state. So people actually go and do this. So enablement, empowerment, and third one is to drive that, you know, responsibility where people feel responsible for their work. People feel like this is not a job. This is a duty and I've got to be good at it. Now, when you work in an organization where there are a lot of responsible people, there's a kick you get out of it. You, you don't feel work to be like work. You feel like you're one of the superheroes in the Avengers story, right? So that's what we try to do. And, and the fourth is, of course, when these three things fall in, people create value. Nobody's paid a salary for the efforts they make. People are paid a salary for the value they create for the company. Now, the company can grow and the company can reward their employees better if the company gets growth. And the growth will happen when employees are creating value. And this is the cycle that Deep Thought is taking care of for multiple companies. Today, I'm proud to say we're doing this for 18 startups and SMBs. Now, if you look at uh, American economy versus Indian economy, if you want the Indian economy to surpass the uh, American economy someday, let's take something there. Uh, if you look at California state, their GDP is almost equal to India's GDP. California state's GDP is almost equal to India's uh, GDP. 2.9 trillion and 3 trillion, somewhere around that in 2020. Now, why is it that California, one single state, one of the 50 states, has a GDP almost equal to the third largest economy in the world? The answer is simple. Focus on innovation. You have a lot of startups. There's innovation culture there. If your startups and SMBs take off, your economy takes off. Now, Deep Thought is working with a lot of startups and SMBs. And when you look at SMBs, almost everybody wants a job in the corporate. Not many people want to work in small and medium businesses. They feel like, no, I don't want to work for a small company. But what if that SMB, uh, you know, is giving you that opportunity to solve a higher level problem where the SMB is helping you grow, where the SMB is offering you work satisfaction, many people don't want to go. So we tell the story of the SMB to youngsters so that good and talented youngsters go to these, uh, you know, SMBs and uh, also for startups, right? We try to make sure they get the right teams. More than 90% of startups fail. But what if the startups get the right team? When the startups get the right team, the chances of failure is reduced. The chances of growth is increased and Deep Thought is trying to do that. So I fundamentally believe that we as a company are doing the greatest nation building activity out there because to give organizations the right people is the greatest gift you can give to the organization and that can build the economy. And the greatest social service you can do is to build a healthy and sustainable economy because when the economy is strong, people get more purchasing power, people can afford better healthcare, people can afford better education, and that will in turn improve the society by the next generation. Economic development, along with good education and along with a value system, I think can be fantastic for the society and the economy. And that's what Deep Thought is working on. Now, naturally, this is we're not hiring an intern fresher, we are hiring torch bearers for a revolution. Now, we are a 45 member team mostly young and this company is three years old and this research which I've been doing, if you watch my TED talk, you'll understand a little more about my journey. I've been doing this research for the last 12 years uh, to understand how people have to be taught, to understand how to connect with people. I mean, a large part of my life was uh, spent with school children where I was trying to, uh, you know, change Indian education system. But then I realized before changing the Indian education system, it's important to change the workplace because once you change the workplace, the changes in the education system will follow. And that's how we made this change shift. Like, you know, four months back from education system, we shifted here. But while we were in the school education space, we got fourth class kids to present something like DCF method of valuing startups. Uh, we got fourth class kids to explain what is lean startup, how do you cut down the product development cycle and so on. So we were able to get fourth class kids to think like CEOs. So we certainly believe that when we hire the right kind of interns and freshers, we can get them to do the kind of work which CXOs or very senior level people do. So that's what this team thought is about. So we have a selection process to assess if you've got that learning drive and if you've got that excitement to contribute to this mission that Deep Thought is actually working on. So step one, we give you this persona form. So it's a set of questions through which you understand who you are and where you want to improve yourself. You probably have to take 30, 40 minutes to fill this form. Even if you don't want to join us, the form at least helps you understand where you stand and uh, you know how you could improve yourself. And the second step is a role-specific assignment where we have a lot of assignments. You can pick any one assignment and complete it. That will give you a sense of what kind of thought process the thought inculcates on a daily basis. And the third step is video reflection. 
where you watch a long video about what this learning culture is about and you tell us what you've understood from that video. And the last step is something called observation where you hang out with us for three days and understand whatever I told you right now, you experientially see it and you evaluate for yourself if this is what you want to be doing. So fundamentally, by the end of the selection process, you understand if this is what you want to be doing. So we interact only with those individuals. At the end of this process, we interact with individuals and we interact with those individuals who've seen value from deep thought. So then we understand whether you will be able to create value for us or not. And that's when we hire you. But even before we have an interaction with you, we take you through this entire process to understand if you can add value uh, to this mission. So let me take you through the steps again. Step one is a reflection process. You answer a set of questions and through those questions, you get an understanding of, you know, uh, what is my personality today and how can I expand my personality? So, because we want to hire those individuals who are self-aware or who can become self-aware with all these reflection drills. So that's step one where we're letting you, you know, evaluate yourself. And step two is a role-specific assignment. And if you're learning something new out of it, then I think we'll be interested. Step three is video reflection where, again, you'll get to learn a lot of new ideas. And we want to see how much you can learn from that video. And step four is observation. And even in observation, we're looking at how much you can learn. Now, in these four steps, if you're able to learn and you're able to demonstrate to me that you've learned in this environment, I'll be interested in hiring you. Because the problem that Deep Thought is solving is not an easy one. It's not for meant for an average guy who wants to take a certificate somewhere and add something to a resume. It's meant for somebody who wants to pursue, who's got that burning desire to pursue a dream and excel at it. Right? And as long as you're sincere in your intention, as long as you're sincere in your intention, even if your assignments are of low quality, I'm happy to talk to you, happy to mentor you, help you improve and then come back into deep thought. So we're very happy to give a little bit of mentoring and, you know, maybe one month time for you to improve yourself and come back. Because I believe that the candidates with the right mindset are very rare. The candidates with the right mindsets are very rare. So skill set is not very important, but it's a mindset which is important and this entire selection process is around mindset because you in every step of the selection process you'll be exposed to something new so we are trying to see if you are able to learn from the something new and expand yourself from that something new if you are able to do that and i think you'll be a great contributor to this team because deep thought is managed like a sports team all of us are united by that you know big dream of changing how you know employees work because look if every employee is connected with their job right you won't have a spouse who will go and beat up the spouse at home. You won't have a parent who will go and shout at kids at home. You won't have an annoying neighbor who's frustrated and taking the work frustration on a neighbor. You'll have a happy society because people spend most of their time in their job. If they form a deep connection with their job, people are more likely to be like Buddha, calm, chill, relaxed with life, live and let live kind of a philosophy comes in if people find that deep connection with their work. Because at Deep Thought, fundamentally, we believe that every human is born with a potential. Every human is born with a potential. It is only the culture which can make or break that intelligence. So we are here to build great cultures around the world. And if you think this mission excites you, the four rounds to clear, clear those rounds and we are super happy to work you. And this is India's toughest selection process. Process for interns or freshers. Even Amazon India doesn't have this kind of a selection process. And we have it for a reason. And that's why we've got a key cast team the kind of team we have, if you were to join the observation process, you'll get the opportunity to interact with all of them and understand why they're working in the company and understand what they do. You'll get to see that soon. So I hope that you enjoy the session process and wishing you all the best.